good morning. Today is going to be kind of a chill day. I'm going to get some studying done, but mostly I'm just going to be doing just random stuff. I didn't get to my nails yesterday, so I'm probably going to start those uh, just so I have some set ready for Monday. But yeah, I finally got this thing to have the volume buttons working through the Chromecast and everything hooked up via Bluetooth. So I don't have to worry about these not working and then everything else being fine. Except the menu button, apparently. You know what? I'm fine with that. Everything else works. Mouse pointer. So yeah, everything works. Mute. Volume. Navigation. Back. It all works now. Okay. My Twitter blue finally expired. Because the icon changed and it said, since you have unsubscribed from Twitter Blue, your icon will change back to normal. Um, no longer verified. Can I remove the musical note? I actually, I'm going to copy paste it so I can put it back after because I do want it. But let's see. And save. It works. So yes, you can change her name after Twitter Blue has expired. I'm just sad I won't be able to edit tweets anymore. Actually, let me go check. Yeah, bookmarks just kind of merged. So yeah, Twitter Blue doesn't even show up on here. It's probably still in my Apple subscriptions though. So I could get it in the future if I wanted to. And the renew button is also still there. Let me know if you guys want me to like spend $9.99 just to try another month of this to see if it'll renew. Um, that's like eight bucks American. This isn't Canadian funds. But yeah, it looks like if you've had Twitter Blue because the sus subscription was managed through Apple, you can just renew it whenever, even if you canceled. But check marks gone. I was able to take out the musical note and put it back. Basically everything returned to normal. Literally today, my expiry date for Twitter Blue. So I was just watching a vlog and they were talking about making hot chocolate. And I was just like, I have oat nog, which is like uh, an oat-based version of eggnog in the fridge. And I was like, I wonder if you can make eggnog hot chocolate. So I Googled it and I wanna try this. Yeah, I think I'm gonna try that. Also, my lips are a little bit red. I just had um, purple yam ice cream thing, Melina. There's the empty bowl and stick. All right, so I had some hot chocolate packs in my cupboard and I figured, what if I tried making one of those with oat nog? And I threw a Rolo flavored one in and this is the result. Just like microwaving it and then adding some Timbit cereal on top. I haven't tried it yet. That's actually really good. Really sweet, but really good. All right, I ended up taking a really long nap, but I said we're gonna do nails, so let's size these things. All right, I've pretty much figured it out based on this. Uh, it's the one for the thumbs, four for the middle finger, two fives for the index and fourth finger, and a seven. So I'm gonna need two of these because this is only half a set, but we'll start with the left hands first with this one. So the sticky tack's a little grimy, but I got it to put on this nail stand. There's a little bit of polish in places too from the last set. I can clean it up later, but we're going to put all the nails that I just sized on here and do the base color. Okay, I almost forgot I need to file them down, uh, especially the thumb since the thumb's a little bit flat versus these, which are more of a circular bed. So I'm gonna do that first and then we'll put them on the stand. Okay, they're shortened and on here and ready to go. I'll probably shorten a couple of them a little bit more once they're on, but this is just so I don't waste product on nail that I'm not using. I'm going a little bit shorter, actually a lot shorter than last time on these, simply because I have to type for my last three finals. I, I mean, I did for my first two as well, but my nails fell off for one. I didn't have a lot of typing to do on Thursdays, so I just want these so they're functional. 
but also kind of holiday styled. Looking at some inspo on Google, I kind of like the sheen of like the um, just plain red nail on this one. And the candy cane vibe is kind of cool, but I kind of want a little different design if I'm gonna do that. That's more like it for candy cane. I really like the star vibe and the gold accent nail. Maybe I can incorporate something like that. Ooh, peppermints. What I think I'm gonna do is do most of them red and then have a candy cane accent nail and just like some sort of tip going on, like a French tip. I don't know how I'm gonna add that until I resize them though. Um, so maybe I'll skip the French tip. Or maybe I'll just use some glitter on a few. You know what? I have pink glitter, let's do that. So I'm just on my side table here. I think this thumb is gonna be opaque. And I kind of like the fourth finger as the accent nail. And this one's already to size to be fair. So I think I'm gonna do everything except the fourth one in red to start and then we'll go from there. All right, first coat done in this um, Revlon shade. I got this a while back, 680. But we're gonna stick some white on that fourth finger. And then when these dry, I can add another coat to there and then figure out the candy cane thing. There we go. Just gonna let these dry now. All right, I managed to paint on the candy cane stripes. I'm gonna touch it up a little bit around the edges just to make it perfect. But I used a toothpick in my new tray plate thingy. And I think it looks pretty dang good. This is what I ended up with, although I did end up adding some details after this. Are these things supposed to be addicting? Because this is my second one today. <laughs> and this is the finished product, what I ended up with for the left hand's nails. I think they turned out pretty good. I'll do the other ones tomorrow. Let's cut to the next day. So I think I'm going to try something new for this half of the vlog. All the clips that you see moving forward are going to be voiced over. I'm going to get the other half of my nail set done today, the editing for the vlog, and studying for tomorrow's final. I swear I eat food that's not just macaroni and a and All right, so here I'm just finishing up the edits for the video. It's almost done. And I just need to add music and export. And it's uploading, hell yeah. Just gonna switch to Celestar Connect on my computer. And we're going to go clear the copyright claim because I have a license for the songs used in all these vlogs. So we're going to dispute this. I'm just gonna click dispute. Click the button. License, because I have a license. Click the check mark. Type in my name, click all the buttons, and open up the license file. I've got a folder with all of these. Copy, paste, and there we go. That should clear within the next few hours, uh, so I don't really have to worry about the 31 days. And. I'm just going to add the end card, copy it from the last video, and this should be okay to put public, even though the copyright claim is not cleared yet, it will. Save. And that video's just gone up. You'll have seen it a while back though. <laughs> All right, now a few hours later, I go to check this. Refresh, it's gone. Part of the reason I did a voiceover is because I was feeling kind of sick today. <coughs> but we're gonna work on my nails. Here's the set from yesterday, and here's the new ones. Painting the base coat, got the fourth finger white. And once that dries, I'm going in with the glitter. Get that in there nice and even. This is really hard to do with one hand, but there we go. We have the first part done. Now for the art on the middle nail. And some decals. I hope I pronounced that right. I'm just placing it with a set of tweezers and then pushing it down with my finger. There we go. Now for the candy cane nail. I've got my little tray and I'm adding a dot of the red nail polish. Taking it with the toothpick, I'm just gonna carefully go in and touch 
and get that entire line in there. And that's what it looks like. All done. And I'm just gonna touch up the edges with some white nail polish and just get it nice. Then we're adding the glitter with the same toothpick, the other end of it, very, very carefully, because we don't want to smudge anything into the white. And there we go, that's the finished set. Fresh new pajamas after a shower, and the nails are glued on. That's what they look like. Other hand. I'm gonna get ready for bed here. Combing through my slightly damp hair still. I'm just gonna put it in the cap so it can dry without getting tossed around and torn. And with that, I will see you guys tomorrow. Good night.